เจ็บดัดดำไรสลายดำไรเคยดำไรช่วยเปลี่ยนขนมรุก Eleven year old Thresh Ning L carves an intricate design on leather. Each movement is precise, practiced, accurate. Thresh has been learning to put designs on leather for a year and a half. It's a skill that gives her some hope for the future, because her family can no longer support her. Both of her parents are dead. <laughs> Threat lives at the Little Angels Orphanage in Siem Reap. She came here in 2013. Bye. Threat learned how to carve leather from Sire Rata. He set up Little Angels Orphanage in 2002 to teach children this valuable skill. Because Ratna himself knows what it's like to have to grow up quickly. While many Cambodian children have a living family member, they either aren't able to care for the child or the child has to work to support the family. These are the kinds of children Ratana has helped over the years. ជិតបាក់បងការសិក្សាពីព្រោះថានៅគ្រួសារបងគាត់មានកូនច្រើនអញ្ចឹងទៅម្ដាយនៅក្នុងគ្រួសារបងគាត់គាត់ទទួលប
After learning about the Little Angels Orphanage, he wanted to help. I saw the kids, they were making very intricate artwork and I just fell in love with the place. It's all the kids, just, um, just amazing talent. And then I spoke to the director and he told me about the uh, orphanage and he said they need a lot of help. He didn't know how to actually get his name out there and get donations. With Peter's help, this is one of the exciting changes for the orphanage. Today, they're putting in a new kitchen. We've uh, found a few sponsors that uh, helped with the kitchen. We're building a new kitchen for them. So I'm uh, very excited about that. It's been 10 years since we actually had anything new. Donors like Peter also sponsor individual children, mainly by helping to pay for school costs and meals. A friend of Peter's has just started sponsoring Threat. So as she and others continue to perfect the craft of leather carving, they can at least rest assured that the future holds possibilities. Ratana's philosophy is that he will come halfway, but the children themselves must work hard too. With this in mind, he hopes children and young people will have the security and the opportunity that he was denied as a child. For Assignment Asia, I'm Raoul Morris in Siem Reap, Cambodia.